How are you all doing? Welcome to our um, workshop inspired by artist Harold Hodgkin. So I'm going to give people a moment to get online and um, we'll tell you what we're doing. It's a bit more overcast here today than it was last week. It was nice and sunny last week, but um, it's a bit, a bit cooler today. Hope you all have a bit nice weather where you are. Um, well, at least not raining. So yeah, so today we're looking at Harold Hodgkin, a uh, British painter and printmaker. Um, uh, from he, he was born in 1932, he, he died in 2017. Um, uh, so yeah, he, he's really inspired my, my work, I know he personally, as a painter. And I um, hope we have a bit of fun this morning uh, looking at, looking at um, his work and helping us Get paint, painting along. So um, I'm going to give a run through materials again. Okay. So we're going to use some cardboard. If you don't have cardboard, you can use um, cereal box. Yeah. So the back of the cereal box. Um, we're going to need some paint. We're going to need some brushes. So your paint and brushes. Um, some paper. We might we'll do a couple of paintings, um, and uh, and then you're gonna a bit of tape is handy as well. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I'll give. It's just two minutes past. So I'll give another minute or two, and I'm just gonna check my. I've got this all off here. Uh, sorry. In front of the screen here. Um, all right. Good to go. Has everyone got your bits together? What I'm going to do is while, I, while I'm waiting to get more in line here, we're going to start cutting it. Can everyone start cutting out the cardboard? Uh, so, like I said, if you've only got um, the if you've only got cereal box, it works perfect, yeah. But if you've got um, a bigger piece of cardboard, great. And uh, remember, you don't want your cardboard to be bigger than your paper because this is going to be your frame, okay? So, um, we've got a few more jumping on there, so we're going to start cutting this, okay? So, uh, to do this I just cut into the middle first. You see the way mine's got these edges, like this, this cardboard had a kind of edge, kind of creases there, so I'm just obviously going to, I'm going to cut along there. I don't need to cut the top or the bottom, I'm going to use that as a frame. So has everyone got some cardboard we're starting to cut? Howard Hodgkin used his fr his frame was very important. He, he his frame often became part of the painting. I'll show you that in some of his paintings now. Um, so that's why we're making a frame for this. Um, and he worked real, like oftentimes real big, sometimes a bit smaller. But a lot of his work, recent work, would have been quite big. So let's get this cut out. It's like we're making a little TV box here. Oh, no. All right, so we got that. I'm just going to trim the edges. Okay. Has everyone got some sort of cardboard anyway? Yeah. You can let me know. And we're all cutting. Little hands will need a bit of help with this, won't you? Yeah. sure some people are still cutting out so just I've got mine done but I'm just gonna tell you a bit what a bit of news about what me and the moon are gonna be doing in the next few weeks so we're, we're gonna keep going to our Friday workshops so like as today um, we're gonna do um, inspired by different artists uh, I think next week we're looking at and, and books as well so we're looking at uh, Roald Dahl um, I think uh, fantastic mr. Fox and we're gonna make some work inspired by that um, and we're gonna start Midweek, two mi midweek workshops. So at the moment we've been doing little things on a Wednesday, uh, just smaller ones, um, mainly kind of like hand, like small kind of like ten minute videos or five minute videos on Instagram. We're gonna have two, uh, one on a Monday and one on a Wednesday now as well, and then the Friday. All right. So 
we got a few more people in. So Har Harold Hodgkin, yeah. So British painter and uh, printmaker. So uh, have people got a frame? Have you all got a frame made? Let's see. We got a thumbs up. I'm gonna. I'm waving at people here. You all got your frames? And if you haven't got a big, you can use these smaller uh, boxes as well. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah. Let's look at our. We're gonna look at this piece. Yeah, I get some inspiration from the colors from this. We're not making a. It's not about making a copy of it. It's just looking at some of the strokes. Let's look at some of his work. Okay. You can see his frame. That he's 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 incorporated the work right, like right over the frame. Um, and a lot of times he actually worked on the backs of painting, old paintings and things like this. Um, and then also, like, we're going to have uh, layering up a bit of paint. So we might start one and then go on to another one and come back to it, okay? So, uh, let's put him away for a moment. And let's get started. So let's get our palette, okay? So we're going to go with a similar palette to that. We're going to go with some blues. Uh, green and red, okay? So, let's make up a green first, okay? So we get our plate. Gonna get some yellow. And so what do we gotta add to that? A little bit of blue, yeah. So a little bit of blue. Okay. And we mix it up. Everyone making their colors now. That's my green. If you want to make that a little darker, you can add a bit more blue. If you want to make it a little lighter, you can add some more yellow. I'm quite happy with that now. Um, let's get some red. And the red, I'm going to make it a little bit deeper by adding a tiny, tiny bit of blue. Okay. So you can change your reds, you know, if your red is really bright and you want to just kind of uh, give it a bit of, bit more depth. So I know I'm using some, some different language here because we've got older kids joining us as well. So there's some little ones and bigger ones. But just for the older guys, look, you got your red straight out of the tub. You got your blue. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it better there. So I'm just going to take like a tiny bit. So it's just tip, the tip of the brush and I'm going to mix that up. Just to give it a bit more depth. Okay, so we got our red and our blue, or mixing a tiny bit of blue into our red. Getting a bit of a crimson. Okay, um, and then we got some blue, and we're going to use some white as well. Okay, there we go. Is everyone ready to go? Let's get some green down there first. So look, here's our frame actually. We should get our frame on. Uh, so get some masking tape. I'm gonna stick my frame on. I'm gonna stick it just double sided. Stick it on the back. So we're sticking our frame onto our paper, okay? Yeah. Here, that's cool. We can trim it or you can leave it if you like. Okay, now let's get painting. Uh, I'm using a, a big kind of flathead brush. You could use a sponge, you could use anything you like. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start with big strokes, okay? Just going across. And I'm even going to go into the frame a little bit like Harry Hodgson would. Okay, so big strokes, flat, across. And sometimes I'm letting the paint run out a little bit off the, so, like that. So I'm getting bits that are real light, and I'm getting heavier bits, okay? So sometimes I'm letting the paint run, run out, all right? At the top, I'm going heavier, and at the, as it goes down, I'm letting it run out a bit. Okay. All right, I'm going heavier, 
And I want to even see those strokes. I want to see the lines that my brush is, is making. Yeah? And you'll really you'll see it more as well where, where it's starting to run out. Okay? The top corner here. Let's get a little bit more. So if you've just joined us, we're looking at Harold Hodgkin, British painter and printmaker. Um, and I've, we've cut out our frame. He really, uh, uh, he would have been, his frame would have been a part of a lot of his work, that, well, the work that we're looking at. His later work, definitely. He added the frame to become part of the piece. Okay, so we've got some green on there. Everyone got a bit of green going? Um, let's have a quick look. Some people are just joining us at the painting we were looking at. So we're looking at uh, getting some inspiration from this. It's called Close Up, uh, 2005 till 2007. So he painted this over two years, yeah? Uh, so he might have worked on it for a little bit, w one layer, leave it for a little bit, work on it again. A lot of series of paintings going at, at once, okay? Um, let's get some blue going on there, yeah? We don't have to do it exactly like this. We're just gonna, I'm just going to have a bit of fun with the blue now, okay? The, the green... At the bottom is even starting to dry, so we can go some blue. And the blue we're going to put on quite heavy, okay? So that means we're going to put, use quite a bit of, of blue paint. And I'm just going to get my water and clean my brush a little bit. So I'll give you get some blue going on. Yeah. How are we doing? How's everyone getting on? Have I got? I might have cut myself or something here. Do I? Let's see. Let's see if I can fix this. My technical. Uh, can everyone? Can anyone? Can someone just do post a little something there? Tell me how you're getting on. Let me see if uh, this is working. Um. All right. Let's see. We're good. Okay, we'll get our blue. Yeah. With the blue, so the green I, I was going, we were going diagonally. With the blue, I'm going to go up. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of white as we go as well. So we're going up. And this, I'm going quite heavy, so I'm just not going up and down. I'm kind of like something to stick in there. Okay. Now, without cleaning the brush, I'm going to add a little bit of white. So just get some white there, and go beside the blue. Get a bit of a blend. Okay. So I'm starting to go paler. I'm going to add a bit more blue then. I'm going to go up onto the frame a bit as well. I'm getting white. So see, we're going we're going differently here. We're going up and down rather than across. And then we're going to get some lines coming out here, okay? So I'm going to get some blue. Uh, oh, Jim wants me to paint Peter Rabbit. Maybe later, yeah? We're into Peter Rabbit. And hey guys. Everyone following the way, yeah? Brilliant. Okay, so see the way, look, you can have yours going different ways. I'm just going up this way. Okay, so I'm just going my blue. See the way the blue is much heavier than the uh, green behind it. I'm going to add a little bit of white going through it now as well. I'm going to pick my phone up now and just get a bit closer to show you what I'm doing. Okay, let's just turn it around here for a sec. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Alright, so you can see we've the green in behind, the blue we've gone much heavier on top, so we're getting a bit of layering. Um, and I've added, I'm adding little bits, I'm not cleaning my brush for the blue and the white, I'm just adding bits in, okay, as we go. And have, make it to your liking, you know, do you want to add a bit more blue here? I think a bit more blue might work there. And you can see that kind of cross over there, look from... So it's like heavy down here and light it back there. Okay. Top corner I'm going to go darker. And I'm going to start getting the frame in. Go right to the edge. Okay. Okay. 
let's go off up here. So it's really about having fun, okay? So have a bit of fun with this. And really have fun mixing those colours. Look at that lovely blue we're getting here. Okay. So that green is disappearing a little bit into the back, it's nice, yeah, we're getting a blue flying up there. Okay, I'm going to get some more colours. We're going to look at red, that red that we made up, I'm just going to switch this back around. Let's see? Yeah. Cool. There we go. You all see that? So, the red, I've got a brush in here for my red. And the red, like we, I, I had done earlier, I had a little bit of blue to it, or yeah, just a touch of blue, just to give it, make it a bit, give it a bit more depth, okay? So out of the tube, it's going to be just a bit bright for that, I thought. But you can, this is more for the older guys listening, tuning in. You can see what I mean, look. So I've added a little bit of uh, blue to this one here, just to give it a bit more depth, okay? So let's do a different stroke again. So with this I'm using the flat head brush again. But if you don't have a flat head, you can use the round uh, and just pu push push in with that, okay? But with this one I'm gonna push down. Let me show you here. Go like this, see? So I'm using the head of the brush. Okay? So we're gonna do that around the painting. Okay, so let's go. So you can go in on the blue. You can go around in the green, just randomly around it, and I'm going to start going around the frame also. Okay, how are we doing? Are we all following the way? Hi Charlie, hold on. Hi Caroline and Jim, how are you all doing? And Valerie, hey Val. And Sophie, Sophie's on track there, brilliant. Hey Sophie. I was just speaking to Valerie, uh, so, and I know uh, Sophie, so I know, I know Valerie's missing the classes. Um, but it's great to have us all painting along here anyway. So I'm getting all my reds in there. I want to get a bit more green going there in a bit, I think. Uh, maybe around the frame. Okay. So, let's mix up a bit more green, so we get our yellow, and a little bit of blue, we mix up a green, I'm gonna, I can use my blue brush, okay, and I know I'm, I've, I'm after doing red on, on the background, but that's okay, I can go over it a bit, okay, so look, let's get some Green. It's a bit of a darker green, and it's going to swallow up some of that red, that's okay. It's going to get, I'm going to get around the border, around the frame, let's get into the frame. And we're getting a bit of wet on wet painting, so a bit of red mixing with the green, that's alright. See what happens with, with layering it up a bit. Okay. And a little bit of darker green going in there, it's okay. So you can go around these red bits, or you can go over them. I'm doing a bit of both. Okay. How are we all getting on? I like that blue there, so I'm going to leave that blue. This blue there you hear just got shot out of. And in a minute, I'm going to leave this dry a little bit, and I'm going to look at another painting. But, if, you're, if you want, you can use what I'm going to show you next onto this, your own, this painting again. But I'm just going to show you in a clean sheet, so people who want to change over can. Okay? And we might come back to this when it dries a little bit, it's, it can be easier to layer up when it's a bit drier. We might come back and look, work onto the frame a bit more. Okay? Now... Yeah. I'll give you a look at where we're at with this now, and then I'm going to start, put up another one, and we can start a new painting, like look at some different colours, okay? So let's see, we are 
We got the, the close up. So, yeah, we got our um, frame all done. What you want to do? We got bits here that I'd like to go over when it dries a little bit. I don't because I want to keep these greens as as is, but I want to go in. We can go in with another layer, okay? When it dries a little bit. Um, all right, and the frame's quite dark, so we might brighten it up. When it dries a little bit, we can put another layer on, maybe like a, a pink or something like that, okay? So, uh, I'm just gonna switch, I'll give you a moment, give you guys time to switch also. So we're just gonna switch uh, paper. We'll let that dry a bit. Like I said, if you haven't got more paper to switch, that's okay, you can keep working on, on the same one. I love the bits that are on our easels. Kids, you can't, these are the guys that can't wait for the paper, but it's brilliant stuff that happens when you see paint on the on the on the board on the easels. I love it. This is actually my favourite. It's kind of pink and white rainbow going on here. Uh, okay, let's get some more paper and some tape. Um, and if you missed what I was saying earlier, yeah, we're gonna we've got lots more workshops planned for every, every Friday. Uh, we're looking at some inspiration from the Roald Dahl books next week. In particular, I think Mr. Fox. And then we're going to be looking at some more, another artist, Alexander Calder. Uh, we're looking at his sculpture, getting doing some sculptures inspired by Calder. Um, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we've got a new, a new sheet up. Now, um, if you've only got cardboard not only it's great if you've got this cardboard also you can use this cardboard also okay i'm going to cut one of these up now along with you guys all right so we're going to cut i'm going to cut two of them because we might put them side by side like a diptych we have two paintings beside each other but um yeah so we'll cut i'll cut two so we can do a couple yeah so we want to cut the edges off yeah we've got these edges here so i'm going to cut them off Hey Owen, hey Trina, how you doing? Owen and Lucy. It's brilliant to see you joining in. And Sarah, hey Sarah. And Charlie. Good work. So our corners here. So I'm just cutting off the corners of my cereal box. We're gonna use this as a frame, because Howard Hodgkin would have used um, the frames a lot, as I was saying, as uh, part of his work. Um, okay, that's my box, and then I'm gonna just you can, little guys need a bit of help with this. Put in the middle, so just fold it there to get in, and then we're gonna cut a frame. Leave it a couple of fingers wide so you can you have a bit of frame there. All right, hey Hannah, how are you getting on? We need to get you an easel. You need to pop in for an easel, we're going to give you an easel, won't we? Pop in. Um, so we're cutting off our, our frame here. That we're going to stick on. Yeah. Okay, so we got that. It's going to go there, and we'll do it too. So, get this on, bit of tape. How's everyone getting on? Are people starting the second one? Are you all going to do a second one? We're going to look at some other colours. Don't worry if you've got bits. Your box got a bit torn or anything. They can add to it, yeah. That's cool. I lost you for a sec, sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, Pippa. Okay, we're gonna do another one. Get your box. Cut the edges. Everyone following along? Okay. So we're cutting this out. And we're gonna stick this on also. And 
a look at some different types of application that Harold Hodgkin would have used that can help us get some inspiration for this, these next paintings. So I'm leaving a couple of fingers for the frame. And if you haven't got cardboard, don't worry, you can still make great paintings. And then save your cardboard and then frame your paintings and then you can put more paint in the frame if you like or leave them as is. And these would be nice gifts to give to someone that you can't see at the moment. Maybe you can leave one at the door. Could be nice. Um, yeah. So let's get all these going on there. Okay, everyone got some ready to go. We get our paint ready. Okay, we'll put that there. That'll be for another one. Okay, let's look at our book. Hodgkin book. Get some ideas. So we've got a few marked here. Um, this is nice one, Making Hay. So we've got lots of colours blending. Yeah, we might have a look at that. Can, we can get inspiration from a couple of paintings and use it for the same one, you know. Um, this is nice looking at his uh, pinks. A bit of red going on there. Um, and we've got another one here. Nice blues and reds. Yeah. See the way he works right all over the frame? Okay. So I'm gonna look at a few and it's gonna show you give you different some different strokes and different examples that you can use for yours, okay? Um I'm gonna do a bit of mixing. Okay, so let's get our plate. So we get some colours, uh, so we're going to get some blue, and I'm going to get make my blue a little bit deeper by adding a tiny, tiny bit of red, okay? So I'm going to tiny bit of red to this, okay, see that? And we'll mix it up, okay? So it's not going to go purple, it's just going to get a nice kind of bit deeper blue, like a tiny bit more. Just okay, a little bit more. Alright. Okay, let's get some blue on there. We're going to go blue and we're going to go on the edge of the frame and on the page as well, okay? We're going to go around. Okay, I'm going back and forth, and I'm actually going to get move up close so you can see that a bit better. Um, okay, there we go. So I'm going to go. See the way I'm going on the edge of the frame, and on the edge of the page, I'm going around, almost making a box. And don't worry, it looks it goes down a bit. That's okay. Okay, so we've gone all the way around in our blue. I'm going back in. I'm pushing down a bit so you can see the strokes, those lines, okay? And now I'm going to get a bit of darker, just a bit heavier area here. I'm even going to add a little bit of red to that. Let's get more red. Uh, just a touch, what? Just into that area, make it a bit deeper. And here I'm just going to go Okay, so see the way you can see that stroke there. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's what we got so far. Um, now you can be doing larger strokes. You can be get going filling up more areas. It's up to you. I'm just showing you different ways to apply it. Okay, let's put that back and let's get some more mixing. Uh, we're gonna get some. We're gonna make some colors for brown. So we've got blue there, so I'm making you, so we'll get some more blue, and we we'll get some yellow, so blue and yellow, and then a bit of red as well. I've got a bit of blue there, so it's going to be quite dark, let's see, let's see how we go. Yeah, we'll mix it up, and I'm not going to mix it too much, watch, look. So I'm going to leave it like that. So it's kind of half mixed. Look. 
Okay, now yeah, let's see what happens. Move you up close so you can see this. Okay, so I've half mixed this. So it's like that, so you got lots of different colours going on there. Let's get some on. Okay, I'm going all the way out from that side. Alright. Now I'm going to mix it a bit more. It's almost a grey because I use a lot of blue. So I'm going to add a bit. Red. There, and I might have to add a bit yellow as well. So I'm mixing it up. Lots of mixing, lots of playing with paint here in this one, in this workshop. So we got our brown back. Yep. Now I'm gonna just just do a bit of these marks up here. So here I'm gonna just push them down. So rather than going back and forth, I'm doing this. Okay. And then I'm gonna clean my brush. And I'm going to use a bit of the red there, for the, in the white area over there. Okay. There you go. And this time it's going to brush in. And push down in, let's see. And you can see you're getting a little bit of layering there, and you can see the brand come through underneath. It's a bit darker. That's what we got so far. Do you know what? I think we need to brighten it up a bit. Yeah? So I think we need a bit of... Let's get that frame paler. Get a paler blue on there. Okay. Let's see. So we're going to add a bit of white. I'm going to just move back from my mixing. Move you back over here. Looking good. Um, let's get some white. So it's going to put some white onto where there's a little bit of blue there. So we'll mix in. Okay, here we go. So we're making a nice pale blue, like a sky pale baby blue kind of. We're going to get working around the edges, okay? Onto the frame. Okay, nice. And do you know what? I showed you earlier some pinks, nice pinks that, that um, Hodge can add in this painting. I think we're going to do a little bit of pinks around the edges here, okay? So we're going to make some pink for the edges around here. And we're going to blot them on. Now, so we get some white. There we go. Make a bit of pink. White and red. Not too much red. And then get my brush. I'm gonna mix it up. So get a nice pale pink. If you want to make that darker, add a bit more red. And we're just gonna stamp it down around the edges. Okay. And even, I'm going to go into the page a bit as well. So it includes a bit of the page and the frame. Okay? I'll go a bit closer there so you can see what we're doing. A bit better. So, here we are. Okay. So we've did our blue all around and now we've got our pink and I'm just pushing down. See? And I'm going in on the frame as well and a bit of half in on the frame, half on the painting. Yeah? And I've got a paint in here. So you can get your get your inspiration of your from your colors from what all around you. But uh, um, go for a walk, see what colors you see, 
what shapes you see in the clouds, make some notes, use your sketchbook. I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, a sketchbook that I made, um, which just kind of plays with colour, that you guys could do also. And I'm, during the week, next week, I think on Monday we have a sketchbook video coming out. Um, if you missed what I was saying earlier, Mondays and Wednesdays now we'll have small little videos and to our live one on a Friday, okay? So as you can see I've gone all the way around. Uh, actually, I don't really like that blue, but that he's gone on the blue there. Um, so I'm just going to go over that, look. So, just cover that. You can have... I know it can look real messy, but you can be very deliberate as well with abstract painting. It doesn't have... To, it's not a case of... It doesn't have to be uh, completely out of control, you know, you can look at it and say, okay, I want to bring this back or change this. So you can always change things, you know. And that's my frame there, you see. So we take it off, that will be gone, and it will be a nice clean, clean edge, yeah. Okay, so if anyone needs to make another frame, I'll give you a minute and we'll do one more, okay. Uh, and then while you're doing that, I'm going to show you... A little bit of sketchbook, just ideas for your sketchbook. Um, so you can use um, like a, like if you have a little any sketchbooks, or if anyone has old diaries at home that you don't want to give them to your kids, um, and you can, they can just paint onto the, into your diaries, you know, uh, if they're old uh, or old notebooks. Um, so these are just you know just playing with color and, and paint, looking at different colors together. Um, and different ways to use the paint on small in little sketchbooks, and it's nice to have them, you know. Um, you can make them up with a bit of paper just in, and tape, we'll show you that this next week. Just binding it with some masking tape and just cutting up um, small bits of, 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 of paper. And these ones are painted and then go back in with marker, you know, around it. So have a bit of fun with that, going in with marker, making a little story or something. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a nice nice thing to do to uh, collect uh, your ideas and and then you can make maybe larger paintings of these. Um, or if you've got a big uh, big paintings like you made today, if you've got other ones you've made, um, make a scrapbook of your paintings. Like So cut them up and, and make little bits, um, scrapbooks out of your paintings, okay? So like this would have been a big, huge painting and we just cut it up and, and uh, uh, made a little scrapbook, I added it to the scrapbook, or blots from paintings and things like that. Um, this is like a, a, a sketchbook that was left over from camp, someone forgot. I left one, their drawings, two of their drawings that they'd made in it. And a really nice little character drawings in the little house. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. So is everyone ready to give it a go, another one? Will we go one more? And then we'll leave it after that. So we've got one more. Um, let's look at some more colours, get some inspiration. Uh, if you want to shout out any colours that you're using, uh, give me some ideas too, yeah? Um, I like this kind of yellows actually, yellows and blacks are quite nice, aren't they? Yeah, some yellows and blacks and browns and oranges. Um, these are quite nice too, aren't they? The black, maybe we might do some black. Uh, spots around it, yeah. We can, I can show you how to mix up a really dark colour if you don't have black, okay? Okay, let's get going. Um, let's start with a yellow base anyway, yeah? We all see this? We all good? Oh, yellow, yeah. Okay, we'll do yellow. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, let's get our plate. So I'm putting out yellow. Lots of yellow. Let's just have a look, a quick. I want to look at that page. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's get a brush. Nice bright yellow. Yeah. I'm. On, I'm gonna add a touch of red, tiny, tiny bit. I'm not. I don't want to make it so orange, but I just want to put a bit of red in the edge and bring a bit, a little, a little bit of red in. So that means, look, I've got loads of yellow there. Quite a bit of red there, but all I'm gonna do is just tip it. Look. Just a tiny, tiny bit, just a bit on the brush. 
and then mix it. Kind of make for any, you know, anyone who knows a paint, kind of like a cadmium yellow, orangey yellow, but not orange, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I'm adding a bit more yellow, or a bit more red, yeah. It just takes that kind of harshness off the yellow. Make kind of a cadmium yellow. Okay. Okay, let's get going on it. Straight in there. Let's go diagonal, yeah? All the way across. Okay. And we're getting in that frame like Harold Hodgkin would have done. Uh, really, you should really have a look at his work after this. Uh, you get, you'll get loads more ideas from his work, I'm sure. Alright, loads of great yellows. And I can see my brush stroke. You know, you, you'll be able to see your brush stroke push down hard enough, you'll see that those lines come in there. Yeah. I'm gonna work I'm gonna work on top of that, but I, do you know what? I wanted to I wanted to dry a little bit. So give it a sec. Actually I'm gonna just show you a trick, just even if I work a bit more onto it. Even with a dry brush, you'll start to dry a little bit as well. So you get a dry, and you'll see those strokes come in. Look. So I've gotten a dry brush on top of it, just so it's not super wet. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, let's get some red on the outside. Got red going around here. And he, I'd like to kind of get it like almost a, bit, a little bit translucent, so a little bit see through. -y. Yeah. It's not so opaque it's a little bit translucent so I'm gonna, I've got my red here and I'm I'm not I'm not dragging out the whole thickness around just a little bit I'm gonna add a little bit of water to thin it down a bit okay and we're gonna go around the edges now with quite thin yellow or thin red sorry and you'll see the yellow start to come through a little bit as well okay so we've thinned this paint down a little bit with a bit of water quite a bit I'm just going to show you up close, show you what we're doing. Okay, so we've thinned it down. Here we go, we come down. So you can still see the. I don't want to. I don't want to go perfect, so I'm going to be angry there. Okay. All right. Now. Let's get some other colors going in there. Some, maybe some uh, oranges, yeah, a bit of orange. So, add some more of that red into the yellow. And let's get some stamping down like this, okay? Okay, so we're stamping down. Almost like leopard spots here. Okay, and next we're going to add a little bit of, let's go a little bit of black, okay. So to get the black, if you haven't got black, I've made orange here, so we can, let's make this as dark as we can. So I've got like a dark orange with the red. Let's get a bit of blue. Not tons of blue, but quite a bit, yeah. Mix that up. We're going much darker. You can see that we're almost getting a grey kind of colour. Yeah, and that will work good. That will be a good substitute for black if you don't have black. Okay. It's kind of nice making your own anyway. And we might make a little bit of grey to go beside that. In a minute. Let's go on to black. I'll show you what I'm doing. A little bit closer. Okay. I'm kind of twisting the brush as I go to get a bit of action in there. Okay. Going right over the edges. Don't worry, because you're gonna. That's your frame here. You're gonna cut down. Does the temptation just keep going in this with the black? I'm gonna stop now. Okay, let's get a bit, I'm going to put a, bit, a little bit of grey in here as well, so uh, just, just beside my black, 
I'm gonna add some white. Um, okay, let's mix that in. A bit more if it's too pale. Okay, that's nice. You can make you make a nice grey like that, you know. So that was mainly the the blacky mixture. It was mainly blue, and then um, a bit of red and a little bit of yellow. So. Okay, and then I've added white then to get my grey. This time, let's push in maybe. It's always nice having an edge, a bit on the frame, a bit on the canvas. Okay. All right, I'm getting a bit lost here in this. It's getting very dotty. Let's get a bit of yellow now at the end. Yeah, a nice bit of yellow to take a bit of control over it, okay? So, get a new bit of yellow out. That's the thing about paintings as well, you know? It's great when they kind of go away from you, to be honest. I like, you know, you want to lose it a bit and then re reel it in a bit, a bit then at the end, yeah? Um, so let's get a bit of yellow on there. And we go in with bigger strokes across, and it's going to mix a bit nice, yeah, which is great. That's very Harrod Hodgkin y, forget the word. See, I'm just going to let that push out, and you're getting a nice stroke. Okay, great. No, yeah, brilliant. Okay, how are you all getting on there? So we got our, we've made three paintings this morning. Uh, we start with this one. I know I said we'd come back to that, but what you could do, you could come back onto that now yourselves, and just maybe work more into the green. I'd work more into that. Get, get rid of that white there, you know, to work a bit more into it. Um, and you'll trim the edges of these now, yeah. So you can do these, and I'll, I'll do them. And I'll post a picture after. So we trim the edges. Let them dry then after they've dried, trim the edges. So, we've made three paintings. Thanks so much for joining us today. Um, great to have you. Uh, we'll be more bit more bits on um, on Monday. Monday morning, we'll, we'll be posting uh, some smaller a small workshop on our uh, Instagram, Facebook, and our website. And actually, I think our YouTube's are here. We've started there's a YouTube channel there, and actually, our first YouTube video was um, looking at Morg Meyerskopf, uh, like a little sculpture, I think I have an example of one here, uh, oh yeah. we made these, that's in our YouTube, Mean the Moon Workshops YouTube video, um, so check that out if you haven't, you can make your own little sculptures, little houses, and uh, yeah, so Monday and then we'll, next, on Wednesday we'll have another workshop out, um, it's another Instagram or YouTube one. And then we'll be back next Friday, I think, with Roald Dahl inspiration. Um, yeah, so here, look, I'll post some of these pics later of our, our finished work. But thanks a lot for joining us today. And uh, have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.